Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a continuation of my previous video where we um, looked at the new flow designer and um, how to use different components and our use case was to create an, a, a new opportunity record kind of like cloning an opportunity but with certain fields and um, we used screen element, we saw how to use the get records and we also saw how to use the create records um, so it's kind of a continuation and now what we're going to do is um, navigate back navigate to the newly created opportunity so just like um, kind of similar to URL hack but um, before we needed to use visual force page to just navigate it to the newly created record um, so now we're gonna get that uh, opportunity ID from the flow and then navigate navigate to that newly created opportunity ID. So to do that, um, first of all, you will need a lightning component. And if you haven't um, written a lightning component, it is it is a very simple, straightforward lightning component. Um, even if you have no no experience with lightning component or um, coding in general, you should be able to um, get started with this component. And it's pretty straightforward. And I'll share the code in the description. So if you haven't created a lightning component before it's pretty straightforward go to your developer console new lightning component and you can go ahead and type um, very uh, generic name for me I put flow redirect controller uh, or flow redirect that's my component name and then it will automatically create um, all a whole bundle controller helper style documentation um, I, I also recommend um, going through the lightning developer guide just to get the basics of the component to get it started and make sure you check um, these boxes where um, lightning page lightning record page and lightning tab just to be sure that this component is available um, on where, where you want to use it um, and uh, there are plenty of documentation if you want to read, read about it <clears throat> so once we are in flow redirect component this is the code and as you can see it's very straightforward code it's available for all pages it has record ID um, all of this is not even necessary the only thing we need to con be concerned about is lightning um, available for flow screens this should this should be there uh, and if it is not there you'll not be able to refer it on your flow so you definitely extend to lightning available for flow screens that that is a requirement here and so we're just creating an attribute called rec, rec ID you can name it whatever you want record ID and in it so basically what this mean what this line means is whenever a component whenever the component is loaded what should it do so as you can see we have an action c dot in it in it and when you when i go to the controller the way lightning component works is you have the component side which is the front front facing or user facing and the controller is what does all those actions in the back end so it's like a javascript it's a javascript controller um, and this component doesn't require any Apex, so you don't need to worry about writing test classes for Apex. Um, and just the, that init function, all it is doing is we are just using the standard um, action here, which is navigate to S object. So just by this line, it actually tells the system to uh, navigate to that S object. And then to be able to navigate to that as object, we definitely want to pass the record ID. Um, this is not required, but component dot get v record ID. So if you look at the com component developer guide, you will see that um, this this particular action takes some parameters because if you just put navigate to as object, we don't know what where should it navigate to. So which is why we need to set the parameters called record ID basically telling the browser to go to that record ID alright and um, component dot get v dot rec ID this is same as what we defined here so the way we are gonna get this rec ID is from the flow so that's the whole point so we are uh, we're just defining the rec ID and then we are passing it in the control we are getting or navigating to that rec ID but we haven't still gotten the rec ID this is gonna come from the flow and that's what we're gonna pass um, also now and then we are firing that event obviously um, so 
another um, main thing to note is that the design component the design component is basically let's say if your developer just wants to create the component and as an admin admin can directly use those component by setting these values so which is why design parameters are needed uh, for an admin to be able to dynamically set those values while creating the component so the rec id the reason we're defining this is because now this will be appearing on the flow when we look at the flow if we don't define this the admin won't be able to set those values in the flow so which is why this is important and this is so this should also be same as what we defined here in the component. I know that's a lot. Um, if you have done lightning component development, this is probably, you can probably skip this part. Uh, but if, if you haven't, um, I recommend uh, reading about it. So let's go back to the flow. So this is the component, which I can share the code and on the component. So we created the record here and the next step is to bring the screen element because that's that's how that's the only way you can search for the components and in my last video i wasn't able to find the component but actually it, it is just going to stay here so if i um sorry uh search for that flow redirect so it comes under the custom component and the reason it is appearing here is because of that uh, implementation that we did available for flow so and then we just drag and drop it here Make sure you have a name and talk is created. Your name and you can add a description. And here, see how we have ID of record here? That's what we defined in the uh, design parameter right here, ID of the record. So that's exactly what it is. And if you remember from the last video, the we set the new new op id as new op id so that's the id that the newly created record um, id gets assigned to this variable so that's why we are setting that value here and i'm just gonna say set redirect op value okay this is an api name so it has to be this way and um, ID of the record also we're going to pass the same variable new op ID and um, hit done that should be it and then just connect this to the new screen and save it and uh, the warning is basically saying that um, you need a lightning runtime and this is very easily set up you can go to the setup and set it up if you haven't already. Um, actually, let me quickly show you how to do that. So once you go to your setup, and when it loads, um, go to, it's under the process settings. Process automation settings and for some reason, my new org is very slow. Um, this is where enable lightning runtime for flows. If you don't enable it, and um, you you might get that um, classic version of flow. So make sure that is checked. <clears throat> and um, I already added I already added the clone op button right here. It's very simple. All you need to do is go to the object manager, and when you're in object manager, you are going to create an action new action and from the drop down where it says uh, what kind of action you want to use you want to select flow and then all your active flows will be all the active screen flows will be appearing here so I already have one so I'm not going to go that do that right now so just want to show you how it works um, go to your opportunity where you added the action and click on clone up and it will show you the fields the reason I have prospecting is because the current opportunity is also prospecting so that's how we pulled it automatically from there and um, I just want to change the close date and it should redirect me to the newly created opportunity that's the one that I just created if I go to details um, created by me 4:54 p.m. which is central time but 
so this is how so we as you can see it redirected me to the newly created opportunity and not that same opportunity that we are on um, that's all for today's video please let me know if you have any questions um, and if you want to skip the developer part that's fine I can share the code and uh, let me know if you have any questions um, and what how did you use your flow also I'll be interested in knowing that thank you so much for your time